Hello, and welcome back to QBank Pro Academy for another Q&A with detailed explanations. Join thousands of nursing students who have used our instruction. Remember to sign up for free resources with the link below, including a study guide, 75 question exam, quizzes, and more. Let's get started. A nurse is assessing a 51-year-old male patient admitted with a blood pressure of 203 over 98, who is apprehensive but not experiencing chest pain. What drug does a nurse expect to administer? A. Celexa, B. Ativan, C. Propranolol, D. Atropine. The correct answer is propranolol. Propranolol is used to treat hypertension, arrhythmias, palpitations, or racing heart, and in rare cases, migraines. It may be given PO or IV. It is a beta blocker. There are some cautions when administering propranolol, such as blood pressure and heart rate should be assessed prior to administration to ensure safety. Be prepared to withhold propranolol if blood pressure and heart rate are low. Do not give the medication within 14 days of an MAO inhibitor. Patients should be informed about possible side effects of propranolol, including shortness of breath or dyspnea, bronchospasm and laryngospasm, AV heart block, bradycardia and decreased libido, dry eyes, dry mouth, vertigo, drowsiness, and urticaria. The nurse is treating a 44-year-old patient in the ICU, receiving IV blood pressure medication every two hours. The doctor orders an IV drip to control the blood pressure of 198 over 105. What medication does a nurse expect to administer? A. Midazolam, B. Libetalol, C. Amiodarone, D. Norepinephrine. The correct answer is Libetalol. Libetalol is used primarily to treat high blood pressure or hypertension and may be administered PO or IV. There are some cautions when administering labetalol, such as do not give the medication to individuals with second or third degree heart block, bronchial asthma, or uncontrolled heart failure. Be prepared to withhold labetalol if the blood pressure or heart rate are low. Blood pressure and heart rate must be assessed prior to administration to ensure safety. Patients should be informed about possible side effects, including shortness of breath or dyspnea, bronchospasm, and pulmonary edema, postural hypertension, dizziness, and syncope, dry eyes, drowsiness, loss of libido, and urticaria are all side effects of labetalol. The nurse is caring for a patient with chest pain and a history of angina. What medication does a nurse expect to see documented on the patient's medical record? A. Metoclopramide, B. Lorazepam, C. Dobutamine, D. Carbetalol. The correct answer is Carbetalol. Carbetalol is used to treat angina and arrhythmias. It is also used to treat hypertension and may be administered PO. It is more potent than labetalol. There are some cautions when administering carbetalol, such as do not give the medication to individuals with decompensated heart failure, bronchial asthma, or pregnancy. Blood pressure and heart rate should be assessed prior to administration to ensure safety. Be prepared to withhold carbetalol if the blood pressure or heart rate are low. Patients should be informed about possible side effects of carbetalol, including bradycardia, sweating, fatigue, nausea, and diarrhea. 
hypotension, dizziness, weight gain, and syncope, thrombocytopenia, headache, and hyperglycemia. The nurse is assessing a patient with chest pain suspected of having an acute myocardial infarction. What medication does the nurse expect to administer? Select all that apply. A. Morphine IV. B. Lorazepam PO. C. Catapress transdermal. D. Nitroglycerin sublingual. The correct answer is morphine and nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin is used to treat angina or acute chest pain, ischemia, acute myocardial infarction, remember the acronym MONA, and hypertension. There are some cautions when administering nitroglycerin, such as do not administer nitroglycerin when increased intracranial pressure, head trauma, glaucoma, and severe anemia are present. Pericardial tamponade, severe aortic and mitral stenosis, hypotension, severe hypovolemia, circulatory failure, and shock are also risk factors. Patients should be informed about possible side effects of nitroglycerin, including headache, increased intracranial pressure, vertigo, and blurred vision, hypotension, shock, orthostatic hypotension, and methemoglobinemia, bradycardia, cutaneous flushing, and anaphylactoid reactions. The nurse is assessing a patient who is being admitted with chronic hypertension and heart failure. What antihypertensive medication does the nurse expect to see on the patient's chart? A. Warfarin, B. Metoclopramide, C. Heparin, D. Hydrochlorothiazide. The correct answer is hydrochlorothiazide. Hydrochlorothiazide, commonly referred to as HCTZ, is a diuretic. It is effective for treating high blood pressure. It increases the sodium, potassium, and water loss by the kidneys. There are some cautions when administering hydrochlorothiazide, such as bronchial asthma. This medication decreases lithium excretion and increases serum levels and lithium toxicity. Closed angle glaucoma and hepatic cirrhosis. Patients should be informed about possible side effects of hydrochlorothiazide. These include a granulocytosis, anemia, thrombocytopenia, and pancreatitis, hypokalemia, hyperglycemia, and orthostatic hypotension, blurred vision, photosensitivity, and dizziness.